Hello everyone. In this video, we will look into the LOD group component. In Unity, LOD or level of detail for meshes refers to the practice of using different versions of a 3D model at varying levels of detail based on the distance from the camera. The main idea is that when an object is far away from the player's viewpoint, you don't need as much detail because it's harder to notice intricate features. So, instead of rendering the high detail model, Unity switches to a simpler, lower polygon version. This helps improve performance by reducing the number of polygons that need to be processed and rendered, crucial for maintaining a smooth frame rate in games. Unity provides a built-in LOD group component that allows you to assign multiple versions of a mesh to an object. Create an empty game object and name it Object Group. Attach the LOD group component. Create a capsule, sphere, and cube as children of Object Group. In the LOD group component, assign the capsule, sphere, and cube to the renderer slot of LOD0, LOD1, and LOD2 groups, respectively. The engine automatically switches between these versions based on the object's distance from the camera. This way, you can optimize the rendering process and enhance the overall performance of your game. You can always add multiple meshes to any LOD group. When creating different LOD levels in an external 3D application like Blender and Maya, if we name these levels correctly, Unity is smart enough to create and configure the LOD group. Here in Blender, I am using the monkey mesh and creating LOD levels using the subdivision modifier. We can create as many levels as required. Here, I am creating three levels. Make sure to add the suffix underscore LOD0, underscore LOD1, and underscore LOD2 after the mesh name. LOD0 will be the most detailed version. Assign red, green, and blue material to differentiate these LOD levels. Create the FBX and import it into Unity. Place the FBX in the scene and we will see that Unity has automatically configured the LOD group for us. Now move the camera to see the LOD group component in action. That's all for this video. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. See you in the next video.